So this is an important part of our history down here. What Chinatown is. Yeah. Like, uh, so they came here during the Fraser River Gold Rush in big mm -hmm. numbers, mm -hmm. and then they helped build the railway across Canada, doing very dangerous work. They also built some of the railways in the U.S. So they were building bridges across steep canyons and doing a lot of blasting, which caused a lot of them to die doing that work. They say one Chinese for every mile of the railway died building it. Mm -hmm. And all the way across Canada, it's about 4,000 miles or 6,000 kilometers long. Oh, there you go. So this Chinatown right there, which are red and uh, gold. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's two figures standing at this memorial over here, two brass sculptures. Mm -hmm. The one that you can see from here is a member of Canada's Second World War forces, which they contributed to. And the, on the far side is the, a member of the railway construction team with a railway tied his foot. That, that statue is called Zheng. Um, and the, uh, the wreaths were laid for Remembrance Day, which in Canada is our version of uh, Veterans Day in the United States. It's on November 11th. So, Armistice Day, as we, as is. Yeah, in Canada, we call it Remembrance yeah. Day. It's honor of the uh, those who gave the ultimate sacrifice to protect our freedom. So, there's the Chinese Cultural Center over there, and beside it, here we have this white wall that surrounds the Dr. Sun Yat Sen Classical Chinese Park and Gardens. This was given to the city of Vancouver as a gift for our World Expo in 1886. The entire complex was constructed without any modern tools. Wow. It's the first Ming Dynasty classical Chinese park and gardens built outside of China. Very nice, highly recommended. There's a free park section and a paid admission garden section where you can do a guided tour and they um, serve you traditional tea and there's a nice little gift shop in there. Yeah. Do they make those little, what's called origami kind of uh, uh, paper thingies that you... I actually did see some of those in there once, yeah talked a little bit about that art. It wasn't the focus of the tour, but they did have some of those in there when I did the tour there. Oh, look at that. A seagull just flying right. Yeah. Glaucus winged gulls. We've got lots of those here. What are they called? Glaucus winged gulls. One of many types of gulls. Yeah. Um, there's an interesting building on the driver's side called the Sun Tower. It's way off to the left. Yeah. Um, you'll see it when we make our turn. It's got a dome on the top. There it is. That was built in 1912, tallest building in the British Empire when it was built. Um, it was the original home of the Vancouver Sun newspaper. That's just over there. Now we're going through the Millennium. It was built in the year 2000. Nice piece of artwork. Western entrance to Chinatown. Um, this building here on the right, this was built in 1913. This is called the Sam Key Building. Sam Key was a man who wanted to put in a full-size building here, but the city was widening the street at the time, wouldn't give him permission. Mm -hmm. So he constructed this six-foot-wide building. It's in the Guinness Book of World Records as the skinniest building in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So looking through those double doors, if the outside is on the other side. Yeah. And there was another building built up against the back of it afterwards, which is technically a separate building, even though they're right up against each other. I noticed that you have the coin collectors for the... For the parking meters, it's yeah. like the old style. So, you, so you still have people who work in the in the in the states. They get, everything's computer. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of them here are going that way now too. All digital. Uh, losing Just jobs. Call it in or use your credit card. Yeah. Okay, so this is West Pond. I walk the uh, well West Pond Street. Yeah, Pender street. street here. This yeah. is oh, the, the focal point of Chinatown. I wouldn't stray off of Pender for the most part, yeah. although. Kiefer over there has some interesting stuff too, but this is the street you would want to stay on. And don't go off it to Hastings. Definitely avoid that. I'll show you why shortly. Now, this is where some of the oldest brick buildings were built in Vancouver. On the left, look at the second floor. It's only about four feet high. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's called a cheater floor. I had to move because there's a bus coming up behind us. <laughs> um, so cheater floors, they didn't have to pay the floor tax on the cheater floors. And also they used to have illegitimate activities on the cheater floors, such as the production of opium, which was legal at the time and popular with the railway workers, gambling dens, massage parlors. The police would often raid them and they would escape into these tunnels under the street, which still exist but are no longer used. And I actually went into one of those tunnels when I was a kid. It was pretty scary. Mm. But they closed them off. You can't get down into them anymore. When you said they didn't have to pay a floor tax, what does that mean? Um, so that when the early days of construction of this, of the brick buildings, 
they introduced this floor tax where you had to pay a tax on the construction of each floor. Oh, okay. It was part of the building code and the uh, licensing agreement with the city of Vancouver. So they, when they built a four foot high cheater floor, it was a way to get out of that parameter of uh, having to qualify to pay the floor tax. It was kind of a, a an exception to the rule. Mm -hmm. So they didn't have to pay the floor tax on, mm -hmm. on the uh, cheater floors because they were only four feet high. They didn't build, officially fit into the building code. But they got away with it anyways because that was, in those days, they weren't as strict with construction permits and all that. So Chinatown looks pretty big. Yeah, it's uh, quite a large Chinatown for a North American standard. And it's one of the older ones. Um, first one in North America was in San Francisco. Second one was in Victoria and Vancouver Island, which is actually really small. And this one's actually fairly big compared to the one in Victoria.